It's the latest dangerous trend among teens, and it has the internet all abuzz. Tonight, a warning from doctors. On your side's Chris Oswald is live in studio with tonight's big story. Roll it in, Michelle. It is this little tube of Burt's Bees lip balm that's causing all the fuss. And as you said, tonight, doctors are sounding the alarm. Designed to keep the lips luscious. Get some on your left eye. Yeah, that eye. Teens have found a new use for Burt's Bees lip balm. Am I still blinking? I can't even see. <laughs> They're now using the product for a reason. It's when people apply a layer of the natural lip balm wax on their eyelids. And the trend is all a buzz on social media. Bees up till my eyes go cold. Some who do bees in say it adds to the experience of being drunk or high. Others say it helps keep them alert. Doctors, though? This is just kind of stupid, is it not? I, it's not something I would recommend. <laughs> Jenny Huber is a doctor of ophthalmology. She says the peppermint oil in the lip balm is what's providing the cooling sensation that some will feel. Even when it's just applied on the eyelids, peppermint oil releases fumes that can cause that same irritation in the eyes. And being that the eyes are one of the most sensitive parts of the body, Bizen could cause some serious problems. My concerns that would be that the peppermint in the Burt's Bees can cause things like inflammation, irritation, redness, and swelling in the eyes. Put it on my eyes till I can't feel nothing. So before lathering up the eyelids, Yo, we got a bees up. You may want to reconsider Beezin to keep on pleasing the delicate vision that your eyes keep on giving. Now, many teens who are Beezin seem to think that because Burt's Bees is 100% natural, the trend is safe. So, Roland and Michelle, since poison ivy is natural, I guess I'll just smear it all over my face. Uh, Live in studio, Chris nice. Oswalt. Today, six on your side. Point well taken, Chris. Do you have a story you need our help with? Send us an email through our website, IdahoOnYourSide.com. We will check it out.